Hello, hello. Come on. Welcome to our apartment. This is the entryway. Behind us, we have our entryway closet. It's just a regular uh, small closet. We have a lot of our coats here. I've got my shoes uh, at the bottom in this rack. And then in the top shelf, we have a lot of our essentials to go out. So I have my travel pillow, some sanitizers, umbrella if we need it. Behind us, we have another door. This is to the bathroom, the common bathroom uh, for the second bedroom. But we see that from inside. And then before we move on to the living room, you guys must have seen when you entered. This is our glorious wall of masks. Yes, we still wear them. Um, we wanted to make this wall pretty, but we never got around to it. So this is what it is. Let's move on. That comes into our entryway kitchen area. This is our entryway table. We have a little spot for our keys, sunglasses, and these poofs so we can quickly wear our shoes and leave. Um, it's really handy. This is my favorite part of this entryway area. Uh, so this is a frame that my best friend got us for our wedding. This is our uh, wedding itinerary, flowers that we actually used in the wedding. And then you can see the little back side of the itinerary here. So this is really, really special. These prints are from our Etsy shop. We'll link them in the description so you can find the shop. Now let's move on to our kitchen area. We have a pretty nice and open kitchen. Very lucky to have that. This is our uh, magnet collection. Some of these might be like we have multiple of the same places. That's because both of us have been to those places and this was from before we were uh, dating. So yeah, this in particular is um, a secret Santa gift that I got. It's basically a bunch of different words on separate magnets that you can put together to create poetry. This is my very sad attempt at one. All right, moving on. Uh, this is one of the major attractions that uh, got us into this apartment in the first place. We really, really wanted gas stoves and this is a gas stove. So yeah, this is what sold us on this building. We have our coffee machine and our air fryer on the counter here. So I've seen a lot of like really Pinteresty kitchens where there are no appliances on the shelves. We tried to do that. We have a bunch of our uh, appliances in here, but the ones that we use regularly are, um, oh, you can see those here. It's just a huge pain to like keep taking them on and off all the time, so we just left them there. This particular storage area was like a big point of contention between us. I wanted it to be like a nice pretty pantry, um, and I wanted it to be a bar. Uh, the bar one, so we have all our liquor and all our glassware in here, um, our mixers and our little things. It's not like super pretty, but it works for us. Okay, and finally, we have this little like eyesore um, hidden away right here. This is an IKEA um, shelf. It's extremely functional. It has this very small profile so we can put in like all of our vegetables that need to be open right here. It's hidden away enough that it's not like a big deal and it's not super visible and functions well. So here we have our bar stools. Uh, they are actually from my previous apartment uh, and they were for an actual like bar height counter so they're a little too high for this counter but we make it work they work well for us so no complaint right now let's look at our little plant corner so we have um, a bunch of like smaller plants here on a plant stand this one for the paradise is uh, Used to be our pride and joy, but it's um, in a little bit of a bad condition currently, so we're trying to figure out how to uh, fix it. Um, in the middle here, we have a humidifier, um, a spray to just spray the leaves, and this thing, 
this is a moisture meter this is a game changer we got this and so we just put it into the soil and that lets you know whether the soil is dry wet moist uh, and then you can decide based on that whether you need to water or not uh, right behind we have our little balcony it's a small balcony it's not too big but it works for us i sometimes do some of my like little diy projects in there so it works well uh, we have a couple of seating uh, arrangements so it feels more like an indoor outdoor kind of space in this area which uh, we really like let me show it to you Let's move on to the living room area. Um, so as you can see, we have floor to ceiling windows, which is my favorite part of this apartment. Uh, one little quirk with these windows is because there are no walls, there is no place for an outlet. So all our outlets are in the floor like this one. The best part about these windows is even on like jewelry Seattle days like today, you still get a lot of sunlight, which is, uh, I love it personally. This is the living room. So one of the main requirements for us for this apartment was to uh, get a living room sort of layout where we could keep both of our couches. So both these couches are from our individual previous apartments and both of us were, uh, let's just say not ready to let go of our uh, couches. So yeah, so we really like this layout because it works out. We keep, get to keep both the couches and we can lie down, watch TV for hours. On that side, we have a really nice, like a uh, cozy lamp, even the ceiling light. So both of those have a very nice, uh, cozy, warm, diffused light that they give. It's sort of that Scandinavian Huga, Hig, I don't know how it's pronounced, but that sort of a vibe which we really like. Uh, between those two sofas, let's see if we can scooch in. From here, you could actually see the sound and space needle both when we moved in. But in the past six months, there's a new skyscraper that has come in, which has taken away the view almost completely. This wall, as you can see, at least this side of the wall, is pretty much just the TV. Um, when we were getting this TV, we did think about getting like a frame TV, which you see all over the internet today. It fits in really nicely within the structure of a gallery wall. But we both like to watch a lot of TV and a lot of movies and we get a lot about the like, picture quality and the size of the screen. Um, so we decided we uh, get like a regular TV. It's a big one. Uh, the one fun thing that we added here is this uh, little uh, smart light. So the lights are all around in the back of the TV and based on the colors that you see on the screen, uh, the TV sort of lights up in similar colors. Uh, so that's kind of fun. One of the main things in this area was uh, wire management. So we have a lot of appliances in here. We have our soundbar, our digital frame, uh, the PlayStation, Chromecast and a bunch of stuff that you don't see right now. Uh, so all of uh, the adapters are hidden inside this cabinet and uh, the wires that come in are hidden in these three sort of sections. This is a recent change that we made. I have to say it's absolutely worth it. Right next to the TV we have this pillar here. This was a bit of a, a confusing part for us in the beginning because we wanted to mount the TV in the center of the room. So for this wall, because it's concrete, we figured sort of like a neon thing would look really nice. Um, and we got this. So this uh, pipe actually can be molded into different structures. You can do whatever you want with it. And um, one thing that I had seen this designer called Katie Gong. She makes really cool uh, wooden like squiggle art um, it's really expensive the original ones so we were able to recreate sort of that uh, kind of a vibe with this neon light let me turn it on there you go uh, yeah so we really like it it adds like a fun little aspect to this um, feature that's sort of essential to this apartment right and let's move on to this side of the wall 
So this side, I think, is one of the first parts of the house that we did up. Um, the moment we decided we wanted to split the structure and have a TV on the other side, this wall was free for us and I really wanted to get a gallery wall in. Um, so this is our console table. Um, we have all of our books in here, well, most of our books in here, and my record player, speakers. Uh, this record player was actually Anubhav's first birthday gift to me after we started dating, and it's a really nice piece. On the wall here, we have my ukulele, um, some album art from the records. So we wanted to keep this wall really eclectic. Uh, that's, I think, something that we wanted to do with the entire apartment. We did not want to conform to a very particular style and restrict ourselves. So that's what we've tried to do here as well. Anybody who's watched Chips Creek would get the reference. These are all of David's sweaters and sweatshirts from the show. I really like it. It's, um, this one right here is from our engagement. Uh, so my best friend got us this as a wedding gift. Uh, the other three pieces here, this one from the White Lotus um, and those two, well, that's a Seattle, uh, the famous Seattle skyline, uh, but all three of them are from our Etsy shop. Uh, we will link it in the description so you can find it. A passion project of mine is this chair right here that I want to show you. Let me turn it around. So this chair was uh, originally in Anubhav's previous apartment. He got this, I think, from IKEA. It had nice, like this cane webbing on the side, a uh, chrome pipe industrial ish uh, structure. And I saw this rattan chair from Creighton Barrel that I took inspiration from. So, what I did is I painted the whole thing black, including the webbing, the pipes, everything. And I built these cushions myself, which surprisingly did not turn out too bad. We like sitting on it, it's pretty comfortable. And I think it looks fun. So yeah, I'm excited that we were able to repurpose something that we liked and keep it, but still sort of get it into a style that we want today. Now let's look at the bedroom. So the bedroom is also kind of my home office. I mostly work from home. Um, so we have my desk here, um, the bed, side table, all of that here, and this little keyboard setup here, which to be honest, I don't really use very frequently. But uh, yeah, so let's talk about it. This desk is a standing desk. I got it um, like once COVID hit and it was mostly just work from home. I went through a phase where my neck and my shoulders were really messed up. So this has helped a lot uh, getting the desk, getting the riser for my monitor and getting the whole setup proper and ergonomic. This chair is also really uh, configurable, so it helps move things around whenever I need to, to make myself comfortable. One of the cool things about this desk is all the wire management. So everything is hidden underneath and um, you can see all the wires coming in for the individual things up here. Uh, so that keeps it pretty clean. I do have a junk kind of basket where I keep all my extra cables. I didn't want to hide that for this video to make it look pretty because Honestly, it makes my life really easy uh, to keep switching things around, so I, I keep it like that. This storage drawers, it's from IKEA. Uh, it works really well. It stores all of my junk, my documents, my stationery, everything. This is another gift that I got. So this was the first time I got a, a car. It was a leased but a car, but it was... A, convertible roadster and it was kind of a big deal for me. I, I'm a pretty much a car buff so I've always dreamed of getting like cool cars to try out um, and I actually got to do it with this one so that was really cool. This shelf uh, right above is a um, place where I've kept a lot of my gifts and little special knickknacks. The first one here this is a Polaroid from I believe the original Polaroid factory, a um, couple of cute notebooks that I like. Um, the, this little box, this was also something that my best friend made me. This is another one of um, my Harry Potter gifts. It's a time turner. And right behind we have the bed. Nothing too special going on there. One thing with this apartment that I wanted to talk about because this window is best facing 
in the summers in the afternoons it gets a lot of sun and it can get really hot and harsh so we really wanted to get some light blocking curtains and really into linen so i wanted to get something that has a bit of a linen feel to it um so we got these curtains it was tricky to get them up the ceilings uh, have actually concrete so you can't really drill into them so we kind of hacked it up but we were able to get it working that is extremely helpful on sunny days which is surprisingly getting more and more frequent in seattle let's look at my little nightstand well it's not so little i have a bunch of stuff it's not like all very pretty to look at but i like to have all of this stuff uh, close to me whenever i'm sleeping or waking up so we have my little humidifier here this is light therapy lamp this is helpful on kind of depressing days when the weather is not the best a uh, night light and then this wireless charger that takes care of all of my appliances together this canvas frame is actually again a wedding gift from a friend and then this candle again is a harry potter thing that was a gift and i really like so right next to this actually is this trunk another harry potter thing and if you open it you see all of the harry potter books together and there's a little thing here that also has stickers so you have all of these cute little harry potter stickers that i don't think i'll ever use yeah it's too special but i love it yeah but that's it this is the bedroom and right behind we have our closet so this is the wardrobe um it's really nice it's a walk-in wardrobe I have my clothes on this side, Anubhav's on that side. It's connected to the bathroom, so it's really convenient. One thing that we had a bit of an issue with this wardrobe was for the the size and sort of the footprint of the wardrobe, there isn't much storage beyond these hangers and the shelf that uh, is right above. Um, so we had to get a bunch of stuff for organization. it's a pretty big space um although one major upgrade that we did is getting these velvet hangers so the wooden hangers are actually like really thick relatively and they take up a lot of space so to get all of my stuff um to fit in this uh space i got these really thin velvet hangers and that's made a huge difference i have a dresser here for like intimate apparel things like that and above this shelf I have uh, like my extra linen sheets, pillows, anything that I'm not using on a regular basis, accessories and stuff in these baskets right here. So it's nice and hidden. On the opposite side, we have the mirror. Uh so this is just a simple floor lamp mirror. Right behind the mirror, you'll see a few samples of wallpapers. So this is a rental apartment and um We really wanted to do something fun with the wardrobe. It's a decent size size space, so I thought of getting this wall uh, sort of covered in a fun like wallpaper pattern. Um, got some samples by the time we decided and um, got everything sorted out in terms of what to order. We realized that uh, our lease would be up in a few months, and it's. Peel and stick wallpapers are kind of expensive, even though they're rental friendly. They're kind of expensive to put up just for a few months, so we ended up not actually doing it, even though we did order it. Um, but yeah, maybe if we don't move, we might still do it. If we do, maybe in the next apartment. So yeah, that that's just how it is with renters. And we can take a quick look in the bathroom. Nothing fancy, just a typical. Uh, tub. We have our sinks. We do have his and her sinks. All of our stuff here. A uh, couple of uh, trays to grab most of our um, things. Uh, this one right here is actually from Palm Springs. There's a very cool store called Bobo Palm Springs uh, that we landed in and um, got this really cute tray from there and i i i also follow her on instagram now and she does really cool stuff um this tray is from urban outfitters i've had it for a while it's like a really nice cute uh little trinket and so is this little uh catch all tray as well 
and yeah that's about it in the um, bathroom we had a good, have a good amount of storage to put all of our stuff inside so it stays hidden uh, not too much clutter on the counter so that's good now let's check out Anubhav's office slash our store room The wardrobes in this room are pretty spacious but they're essentially almost entirely full of things that we do not use on a regular basis. So our winter coats, camping gear, Anubhav's um, like more bulky uh, camera equipment and things like that, all of that is in here. On the opposite side we have this little shelf kind of setting. So this has things that we use relatively more frequently, tripods, um, biking equipment and uh, things of that nature. My favorite thing here are these Nerf guns. So sometimes <laughs> when we really want to blow off steam, we play with these and it's, it's really fun. I also have my um, bike here, my workout bike. This is extremely not good looking, but I got this actually for free uh, from someone in my building who was moving out and they just wanted to get rid of it. And I've kept it ever since. It works out really well for me. When I'm not using it, we keep it here. This room has windows on both sides, so it gets a lot of light, which is really good for all the plants that we have here. And uh, one of my favorite parts about this room is also this ledge. So here we don't have the floor to ceiling windows, but the windows are tall enough, but we do have a ledge. So we are able to sort of keep all our plants on the ledges, which I, I find like really uh, nice. And then here we have Anubhav's desk. This is a standing desk. Um, I think it's from the same company as uh, the one that I have. And uh, we sort of have two setups here for him. Um, so on the right hand side is his work setup, so his office um, computer. And then on the left side is uh, his personal setup. So this is where he does uh, his like photo editing and video editing and stuff like that. And just a little storage um, chest that we have here, a couple more plants on this ledge uh, against this window and this, this this little seat here, this is where I sit sometimes when he's working and I just want to hang out with him. This uh, storage box is actually really fun. Um, this is where we have all of his CDs. Um, so Anubhav has this hobby of collecting blu-rays. Do this. Um, yeah, and we have all of them here. We do want to display them at some point uh, somewhere like nice in the house, but haven't gotten to that yet. So it's all in here for now. On the opposite side, we have um, this picture wall. So most of these are um, photos that Anubhav took on some of the other trip that we were on. Uh, this is his parents. This is um, in the Redwoods, I believe. Uh, this was my uh, previous leased vehicle, this car I have a lot of really nice memories with. Um, this is in Alaska, I believe. And then the ones above are um, from Iceland, um, I believe Mount Shuksan in Seattle, and Palm Springs. And this one is a print that you can actually get from our Etsy shop as well. Below, we have um, this sort of credenza kind of thing. Uh, so this is from Ikea. This is where we keep a lot of our tools and stuff. Any DIY stuff, some stationery, things like that. And then we have uh, another bathroom on the opposite side. So this one has shared uh, doors. One, you can access it from outside, from the corridor, as well as from within this room. So that's really nice. All right, so that was it. That was the whole apartment. Hope you guys like it. Um, our rent is increasing by quite a bit and our lease is pretty close to end so we might not get to live here for much longer uh, but let's pray um, yeah but either way we have some exciting travels coming up soon so we will see you for those videos mm -hmm.